Instead of using Google Slides just as SlideShare, you have the opportunity to create manipulatives that students can interact with on, for example, a mat. And so I'm going to show you how to be able to create an object or an image to duplicate it and convince the world it has now become those manipulatives we spend so much time making. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to insert a shape. You don't have to do this with a shape. This could easily be done with an image as well. Once I have my shape, I have some options. I can make it a specific color. I can change the outline. All of those things that I can do with any image in a file. I'm going to select my shape and I'm going to be clicking Control D. And what that will do is it will duplicate my side. So Control D, D, D. Once I've made as many manipulatives as I want, I'm going to create a stack. So I'm going to select around the manipulatives without getting my text selected. And then I'm going to right click on the middle of the stack. From there, I have two options I'm going to need to do. First, I'm going to be aligning vertically in the middle. Then I'm going to be aligning horizontally in the center. Then I'm going to take my stack and place them where I want them. It might be on or off the page. Now, I have what looks like to be infinite manipulatives that I can pull and use for math activities, literacy activities, and more. To see many examples of different templates and how to do it, you can click on this link <clears throat> and you will be able to see a folder full of resources to be able to help you make your own manipulatives.